So very simple, when you're going to somebody's door, you, it, the idea behind an intro is like who, who, what, what. So who you are, or who you're there for and what you're doing. So your name, I'm with Bernie Sanders 2016 or Bernie 2016. Are you, or, you know, or is this person around? You use the Democrat's name. I'm here with Bernie 2016. You're John, right? You know, thanks for taking a second with me. Just explain what you're doing. We're in your neighborhood tonight. We're collecting signatures to get Bernie Sanders on the ballot. You've heard about Bernie, right? And they'll say yes or no. Most times, again, they'll say yes. If they've heard of him, instant agreement or instant pushback in most cases. Most, some folks, the wishy-washy ones, you can push to do it, so don't worry so much about them. But yeah, the, the folks who say no, you know, keep it moving. Don't, we, we are not out there to convince anyone of anything. Our support's there, we just need to find it. We're focused on getting him on the ballot right now. So signing our petition doesn't mean that you're signing up to vote for him. It's not a formal endorsement. You're just doing your civic duty and supporting democracy. And folks who say yes, obviously, are gonna be like, of course, let me sign. I haven't met one person who is supportive of Bernie who said, no, 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 I'm good. In most cases, as simple as saying, hey, have you heard about Bernie? Yes or no, or maybe a little. And then either getting their signature instantly or convincing them that, you know, democracy is awesome and America is great, which it is, right? Right. Generally, in canvassing, you wanna use three no's, excuse me, but I would say with this, take two no's. So if they're like, no, I don't wanna sign, Go in with the, hey, you know, it just gets them on the ballot. Choice is democracy, right? If they say, no, I'm still good. Keep it moving. Uh, when you're on the field, if you can wear Bernie gear, carry Bernie signs, anything like that that makes you visible, it's going to make your interactions that much shorter um, in that people will say, they'll walk by you and they go, oh, Bernie, I like Bernie. So I usually like to start a street rap with just, again, hey, you, you've heard of Bernie Sanders, right? Oh, yeah. You like them, right? Yeah, free college for every American sounds great. Free health care, $15 minimum wage. Yeah, all good. All right, cool. We're signing to get him on the ballot today. Your signature gets us one step closer. Literally that simple. But as far as street goes, again, the hardest part of that is just getting people to stop. So the way that you get somebody to stop, very simple. As they're walking towards you, if they're about as far as that sign is from me in a place like Albany, sometimes you want to start off, depending upon where you are, a little further away, maybe a little closer. But I would say in a town like this, where that sign is, great. Eye contact to them, start waving, OK? And then when they get to maybe like mid-stage, that's when you want to start backing up. And then you slow down, and then a lot of folks you don't have to do this. A lot of folks like to use what we call the anchor handshake. You extend your hand, and when you shake their hand, they will naturally stop. If they're not in a tremendous rush, they'll stop. Five skills in canvassing to focus on, OK? <laughs> eye contact. Cannot stress this enough. No one's going to trust you if you can't look them in the eye and say that Bernie Sanders is a good man and needs to be on the ballot. Clipboard control, OK? Um, as you've probably noticed, I talk a lot with my hands, so this one's a little hard for me. We have this thing called um, mirroring the door, right? So if your contact is kind of like, you know, kind of like slouchy, just like relaxed, you know, if they like lean against their doorway, you want to reflect how their energy is. If they, if they get like super pumped, you know, you come to the door wearing a Bernie shirt and they go, oh my God, I love Bernie Sanders. You go, oh my God, me too, right? <laughs> Whereas like if somebody came to the door and they were like, Oh, what is this for? You wouldn't be like, oh my God, me too, right? You know, you, you, you wouldn't be that enthusiastic. So mirror the door and, and just, you know, um, there's also a thing in body language uh, in canvassing called power stance, which is where you kind of, you know, plant your feet, square up your shoulders, chest out, and it exudes confidence. So be mindful of your body language. People don't have time for, you know, your life story. Just try to keep things as concise if you can explain something in one sentence, that's best. I don't want to spend too much time on this because it'll defeat the point. In this case, we're targeting for signatures. So that's what you're after. You're not after converting their support. You're not after their friendship. You're not after making them a volunteer. You're not after any of that. If we get that stuff, that's awesome. 